Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to remove chrome. This is a chrome pipe here. It's chrome plated. Um, and I'll show you how to remove the chrome with a brush plating system and with a tank plating system. So first of all, you need to wear gloves. You need to, you need to wear a mask. I would recommend a mask. So I'll show you. This is what I normally wear. A mask for, yeah, just in case. It's dangerous stuff what comes off there. And um, of course gloves. Uh, very, very important. So put the gloves on. Um, and then we start with a pipe. So this is a, it's a normal pipe which you can get from a DIY sh shop anywhere or you can order it online. They're chrome plated and underneath the chrome is always nickel and I'll show you how it works. This is the pipe. They are usually very very thin plated with chrome but uh, it makes it easier to, to, to remove it. Some items are very heavy plated with chrome and it takes longer. That's, that's the tank here and I'll show you this later how to strip the chrome with it in a tank. First of all I put a mask on. This stuff is toxic what comes off. Chromium is very very dangerous so very important to wear a mask. I would say you can't. Some people don't. I do it. I do it now for over well over 10 years this whole plating. Anyway we start first with chrome stripper. This is chrome stripper which you can get from my shop. This is a beaker where I put it in. Ka -ching. So I put a little bit in what I put in. This is stainless steel electrode. I only use stainless steel for chrome stripping, nothing else. And this is the, cup, uh, the chrome pipe. So what I use to strip the chrome with the brush system. Here we go. This is a swap what I use. A normal standard swap. You can get it in my on my website. And this is the ionized water. In this case you can use normal water. And this is the rectifier what I use. So, when you remove uh, chrome, and it's when you do chrome stripping, you need to change the plus and minus. So normally, the plus is always on the uh, is always on the electrode, and the minus is on the item. This, in this case, you can swap it on a rectifier, plus and minus, reverse. So you change the plus and minus. Normally, if you do this with plating, you mess everything up. It's, you do this only when you remove something. In this case, you do chrome stripping. I start with four and a half volts, roughly. And if it's not enough, I can turn it up higher. So, as I said, you can switch it on the rectifier or leave it like it is on the rectifier and switch the plus and minus here, like I've done now here, on the handle. So the plus is now going on the item, the minus on the handle. So it's a swap, basically, so it's like this. It's very important because otherwise if you don't swap it around the plus and minus, it will not work at all. Right, let's start it. Put a swap on the uh, stainless steel electrode in this case. Um, and then put some chrome stripper, which you can get from our website. Um, put it in a beaker, a little bit, what, 20 mil in this case will do. Something like this. And then make sure you soak the swap very well before you start. Make sure you, the whole swap is, or at least half of it, is soaked very well. And then you start basically removing the chrome, which, which in this case it will go very quickly. In this case, because it's a very thin layer. Um, okay, let's start. So under the chrome, you can see I, I go over and. You can see if you look very closely, it's already changing the color. Underneath is always nickel underneath chrome, and the nickel looks a little bit different, looks a little bit more yellowish um, than the chrome. Um, so you can see changing the color already, so it comes off. You can see this. And the stuff, uh, what comes off, is quite dangerous this chromium. And you can see the swap is changing the colors or yellowish, is a green yellowish color. And this stuff is quite toxic, so be careful with, it, with it handling this stuff. Um, so when you're finished, rinse well, and then 
you can basically, this is only a test here, so you can basically now uh, clean and activate and gold plate if you want this area. So you can see the difference there. You can see the difference in the color. Yeah? This, this is halfway roughly. And when you're finished, make sure you rinse it very well. Get rid of the gloves, take the gloves off or clean everything, the tray and everything very well and chop down. Uh, so now same kind of or same pipe basically, chrome pipe. And now I show you how it works when I put it in a tank, which I do basically all the time. All my stripping, whatever I have, I do in a tank basically. Um, anyway. So this is the tank. It's the different stuff in there. It's not the stuff what I sell on my shop. It's basically quite dangerous. The stuff itself is quite dangerous itself. It, uh, um, it's toxic already, this stuff. Even before you use it, um, it's very, very toxic. Um, and the stuff what I used for, for the brush removing, the chrome strip itself is not toxic at all. So you can put your finger in, no problem at all. Anyway, I'll show you this now. Same pipe, I put it in there and yeah, show how show you how it works. So the rectifier again, I, I put it, I don't know, four, five volt roughly. Yeah, five volt, here's the rectifier. Again, plus or minus reverse, you can see this there. So hang, hang this on there and wait for about, I don't know, a minute or so. And then when it's done, you can see it bubbling along. I've got three anodes there in the, in the, in the tank, which are stainless steel. You can see there's one, two on the front and one on the back. So it works extremely well. And yeah, after a minute or so, I take it out. You can see the amp meter moving 1.7 amp, that's fine. Um, so after a minute or so, I take it out, and you can see the difference already, just about, uh, because I, the top one I didn't remove. So you can see the top bit is a little bit left there, the chrome, of course. You can see where the difference is, where the border is from nickel to chrome. Anyway, that's it. Of course, normally I would put the whole item in, of course. And then uh, maybe uh, clean it, and then you can gold plate it. Okay, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Um, please subscribe, thumbs up, and yeah, see you in the next video. Um, all the stuff what you've seen on this video, you basically can get from our website. It's called it's www.goldensolution.co.uk. I'm German, as you may guess on my accent. Um, I'm originally from Germany, but live in the UK for over 22 years now. Yeah, um, and I do plating, or I do this for well over 10 years now, and I'm working together with a company um, in, in Bath called Spa Plating, uh, which I have a chemist behind me, which if I have problems, or if in the past, if I have problems, now I'm learning. I'm still learning constantly, put it this way. Anyway, um, have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, any questions, please leave a comment. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.